boys and girls and welcome to our service at home. This week we are going to learn about the world of God and dance for Jesus. But before that, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Bless us, cover us with the blood of Jesus. Thank you for everything you have done for us. Help us to be good boys and girls. Help us to be courageous. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Enjoy the dance. that as long as Uzziah looked for the Lord, God made him prosper. This means that God was helping his reign as a king to be a success while he obeyed and followed the ways of God. So it all started very well. Uzziah fought against the Philistines, the Arabians and others. He broke down walls. He built cities amongst his defeated enemies. And it wasn't just in war and strength that Uzziah succeeded. He dug wells, as he had many animals that needed water. As Uzziah became stronger, he became more proud. He started to believe that it was himself that was behind it all, that it was all because of him. 
Now in those days, people offered incense to God and gave other gifts at the temple in obedience to God. These were all done through the priests that tended the temple and were kept ritually clean to do these things. But one day, Uzziah strode into the temple to burn incense to God himself. Now one of the priests, Azariah, went after him to try and stop him, and no less than 80 other priests went with him. They stopped Uzziah. King Uzziah, however, became furious in his pride. He didn't want to be like others and thought he was important enough to do it himself. And as he raged in the temple, as he disobeyed God, something terrible happened. Suddenly, leprosy broke out on his forehead. Leprosy was a feared disease in those days that meant a man had to be kept away from all others and this was a terrible thing for a king. But that was what came to King Uzziah. He became a leper, which meant he was always considered unclean. He wasn't allowed near the temple. He had to be kept isolated from other people and had to live out the rest of his life in a lonely house. Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are going to learn the story of Uzziah, King Uzziah. He was a young boy and then he became the king. So when you become the king, everybody listens to what you say and everybody does what you say. Now, he was a good man and he was listening to the priest. He was doing what was right. Then one day, he stopped doing what was right. He stopped listening to the priests and the pastors. He started doing wrong things. Boys and girls, is it good to do the wrong thing? No! Now, he started doing all the wrong things. Then one day, a priest, one of the priests came and told him, King Hosea, what you're doing is very wrong. But did he listen? He said, no. He got upset. Why are you telling me this? And you know what God did? Because God is our judge. He made Uzziah get leprosy. Do you know what leprosy is? Leprosy is a skin disease that makes your skin become very white with many things on it. Now he became sick. And at that time, when you got leprosy, you could not stay or mingle with your friends. So he had to stay away. Boys and girls, what do we learn from the lesson? We learn that we need to tell people when they are doing something wrong. So boys and girls, if you see your friend doing something wrong, you go to them and tell them what you're doing is not correct. But you don't go stamping them and say, it is wrong. You just go gently and say, what you're doing is wrong. Boys and girls, it's time for the memory verse. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6, it says, Not by might, not by power, but, but by my spirit is the Lord Almighty. Let's do it again. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6, it says, Not by might, nor by power, but, but by my spirit is the Lord Almighty. Have you, see, have you learned your memory verse? Have you learned the words of your memory verse? I hope you've learned the, memory, the words of your memory verse. Now, boys and girls, it's time to give. Hooray! Let's tell our mummies and daddies to help you in giving. Okay, boys and girls? Well done, well done, well done. Now, we have come to the end of the lesson. And what do we do at the end of the lesson? We pray. Boys and girls, let's put our hands together. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you we have learned to be courageous when confronting wrong things, dear Heavenly Father. 
Dear Heavenly Father, help us to speak out. Help us to gain more courage. It is in your name we pray and believe. Amen. And now let's say the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Bye, boys and girls.